I'm going to try to make a review of colors for you guys. So, uh, first of all, there are two, or sorry, there are three colors that make up white light. So three colors that we need to know that make up white light. And these are just colors that humans perceive to make up white light because remember, light covers the entire electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves to gamma rays and it was only a fluke that we happened to pick up uh, on the visible light spectrum. It's actually not a fluke, it's the most prominent. It's actually not a fluke, it's, actually, it's the most prominent uh, spectrum of light that, that we have the ability to see here on Earth. So it's the reason we picked it up. But remember that it's only there because we perceive it. Uh, and the way we perceive it is through red, green, and blue cones uh, that are in our eyes. So for us, white light is a combination of these three colors. Red, green, and blue. So whenever light reaches your eyes, it is coming to you in some combination of red, green, or blue. All right. So if light is being reflected or if light is being added together, these are the combinations that you can make. And the way the light adds, there are two, these are the three primary colors of light, and they make this color wheel for color addition. And again, we do color addition if light is reflecting or if light is being added. Like we have a red light and a blue light, and we're going to add them together. So... Uh, let's look at it. Like on a adding light, by the way, when would you ever add red light and blue light? Well, they do it on TVs. That's where it comes into play. So we would add red light, blue light, green light in various combinations, and we get the colors that we see on the TV. So this is what it is. We've got red, green, and blue. And red and blue combined make magenta. Red and green combined make yellow. And green and blue combined make cyan. All right, now, a common question is, uh, like what color, I have a yellow banana, so pretend that this is a banana. I can't draw a banana, so I'm just going to write banana. Alright, now bananas are normally yellow, correct? So a yellow banana is made up of which two colors? Which two colors are it reflect? is it reflecting? Well there's yellow, so I know it's reflecting red and green. So I'm going to draw this banana, it is going to reflect red and green. And those two colors combined make yellow. So, what happens if I shine different color lights at it? Well, let's do, let's do an example for these light colors. I'm just going to give you five light colors and we'll just see what colors they make. Let's shine white light at it. Let's shine magenta light at it, cyan light at it, uh, yellow light at it, and just for kicks we'll shine blue light at it. Alright, let's see what colors it makes. The only colors that this banana can possibly reflect are red and green. So if I shine white light at it, we have red light, we have green light, and we have blue light. The only colors that can be reflected are red and green. So whenever white light shines on this object, the light that's reflected back is red and green. Blue goes away, so since red and green is coming to our eyes, we see yellow. So if white light is shown on a yellow banana, we would see yellow. All right? So that's if white light. So white light equals yellow banana. All right, what about magenta? Well, magenta is red light and blue light. Remember that red and green are the only things that can reflect back. So if I shine red and blue on this banana, blue gets canceled out. Red can be reflected back, so the color you see is red. So if you shine magenta, it's red. How about cyan? Well, cyan is made up of blue and green. All right, so uh, blue and green. And so red and green are the only two colors that can be reflected. And blue, then, is going to be absorbed. It cannot be reflected. The only color that can be reflected that's present is green, so if you shine cyan on it, it will appear green. What about yellow? Well, yellow light is made up of red and green. So if I shine a red and green light on it, and it can reflect back red and green, those two will combine to make yellow. So if I shine yellow on a yellow banana, I would get yellow. Alright, and then lastly, what would happen if I shined 
if I shone blue light on it, shone, shine, oh, whatever. If I shine blue light on it, I got nothing because I can only reflect back red or green. If I shine blue, nothing reflects back, so the banana appears black. All right, so that's how color addition works. All right, how about color subtraction? Well, color subtraction is used in pigments. This is how we get shirt colors. So color subtraction is used in pigments. So this is shirt colors and whatnot. So if it ever asks you to figure out what two pigments would I need to add together to make a shirt color, that's what you're talking about. And what you do here is you're, knock, you're absorbing colors. So we have pigments of, we have pigments of magenta, cyan, and yellow. These are our primary pigments. If you don't believe me, go look at a printer cartridge. All right, that's what it's made of, magenta, cyan, and yellow. Talk to a newspaper. Ask what colors they have in the, uh, for the printing and color. All right, these are our three primary colors. If we add magenta and cyan together, we're going to cancel out two colors and only leave one. Think about it. Magenta can reflect back red and blue. It absorbs green. So green's out. Cyan reflects back blue and green, so it absorbs red. So now we have green and red out of the equation. The only color left is blue. All right. Next we have cyan and yellow. Well, cyan and yellow, we're adding those together. Uh, cyan is blue and green reflected back, so red is out of the question. Yellow is red and green, so blue is out of the question. So we've knocked out blue and we've knocked out red. So the only color left is green. Then, if we add magenta and yellow together, we should get red because we need red. All right, magenta knocks out green, yellow knocks out blue, so the only color left for there to be is red. So if you're doing color subtraction, you would need to add magenta and yellow together to make red, magenta and cyan together to make blue, and cyan and yellow together to make green. All right, so that's color subtraction. All right, hopefully that helps out with uh, your colors and how to use colors.